Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. And I've just completed the frying of the eggplant. So we're ready to line the pan with tomato sauce. And here I have the other ingredients. Um, egg with a little bit of pepper and salt. I have grated cheese and breadcrumbs. And I think you could add also bread, um, pepper and salt to this too. So guys, I was out walking today and I did another hour and 15 minutes. And, but I, I read somewhere that an hour and 15 minutes could be five miles if you're walking very quickly. And, but it usually takes an hour and 40 minutes to do five miles. So I'm somewhere in between. I'm pretty sure I'm a moderate walker speed wise. So um, whether or not I'm doing five miles per day is um, not the point anymore. I feel comfortable walking an hour and 15 minutes, so I'm gonna keep it that way. So we're lining the pan with sauce. If you can see it, I should move this back. And then I'm gonna take my eggplant. Now normally this calls for about two to three eggplants, depending on the size. I used one, you know me. More tomato sauce. I need to get another spoon. So I'm going to be putting a little breadcrumbs over the first layer. I used about two teaspoons. Raw egg. And a couple of teaspoons of grated cheese. some more basil if you wanted to. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Now, some more eggplant. I cut them lengthwise this time. <laughs> Much better, right?
Oh, this is not easy. <laughs> um, all right, some more sauce. Now, I wanted to uh, remind you guys that I made the sausage and pepper and onion tomato sauce last night because that's what I like. But really, um, the eggplant parmigiana actually calls for plain tomato sauce. So you may use whatever sauce you want. And so um, just to get that out of the way. <laughs> Bread crumbs. Raw egg. And that's what it's looking like. Now those lumps are the sausage that I crumbled. So um, that's what it is. A little more sauce. The sauce took a total of about an hour and a half to simmer and uh, like I went over in the recent video, it's not, the sauce is not as flavorful or aromatic as the one that comes from a jar, but it's still very good and it smells great as well. So it's just not, you know, the commercial one. I can get used to it. More eggplant. I say one is just perfect for this size of a pan. You know, the large ones. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, tomato sauce. breadcrumb
That's the consistency that I like to use. I don't like the fine one that you find in a store. So I, I like making my own from a big loaf of bread. This again is multigrain mixed with corn. So that's what I like. Raw egg. Grated cheese. The last few pieces of eggplant are going to go scattered on the top layer. Yeah. That's what the top layer looks like before I put the sauce on. Tomato sauce. Parmigiana tastes very interesting with red pepper in it. Red crumbs. Now I'm using my hands. <laughs> Now, if I'm mixing up the order, um, I did tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and then raw egg. If I'm mixing up the order, I'm sorry, but um, I think this is the way it goes. I don't think it's raw egg on top of the tomato sauce. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, bear with me. Okay, one last little bit of tomato sauce. Basil.
you could mix the cheese in with the breadcrumbs if you want it to go a little faster. But um, I'm glad I'm showing you this way, like that you get used to seeing the ingredients and the order in which they go. And the last little bit of cheese. Now, we're all done. So what I'm going to do is pop it into the oven for at least a half hour, 45 minutes at, um, I think we should start it at 350. So um, that should be warm enough. And you could put it at 375, but I'm going to do it at 350. And that's it, we're all finished. So I hope you've enjoyed my, um, tutorial for eggplant parmigiana the traditional way and so um, if you have any ideas or any comments or suggestions please let me know um, I, I would I really love to know what other Italian dishes I might be able to uh, whip up for you and anyway um, I thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe take care bye